not necessarily to my employment. Valdosta, Lyons County are not bicycle friendly cities. We have fourth, fifth, sixth grade youngsters. They don't even know how to ride a bike. Biking is a healthy activity, it's a family activity, it's a senior activity, and we do not have enough designated routes or bike lanes to safely traverse, including, including the students that go to Valdosta State as another whole entity. And all I'm indicating to you, somewhere, somehow, it's got to start in government to say, this road is going to have a sidewalk that we've talked about, but this road is going to have a designated bike lane. So people can safely traverse back and forth safely on a bicycle. And this county road or area is going to have bike trails so that we can link community areas via bicycles, even if it has to go through different right of ways. But we do not have a safe city or a safe county for this activity. And it's, it encompasses the entire community, and it's something that has the value of family together, exercises, non-carbon, out in the sunshine, out in enjoying the assets of nature. And this can only start as somebody steps up and says, well, in this particular street, we're going to put in a bike lane. And then next year, we'll put in two streets and we'll put bike lanes in. We're going to put in this subdivision, but we want to have a bike lane. You can't go on Bay Tree, you can't go on Gornto without taking your life, St. Augustine's life in, in hand. And they're major thoroughfares, really. But somewhere, somehow, we have to take the first step forward. The first step forward and get the youngsters and get the seniors and get the families riding together throughout the city, throughout the city. That is the thing. Let some of the kids have a way to go to school on a bicycle, for heaven's sakes, and that type of thing. Go to church with your family on a bicycle. That is just what I'm talking about. That's something that can only start here with government saying, yes, we listen to you, we're going to make a start, and the future will be our asset. Ben, ben, to answer you, that, I mean, we've heard that, and we are looking at that, which is why we started the Dallas Lowndes County Comprehensive Master Plan that we've got going on, and, you know, which is why we're trying to look at, trying to hear from the public, trying to hear what their ideas are, Know, where they would like to see my lanes, the qualities, whatever it might be. And we're spending a lot of money trying to gather all that information so we can take a look at it and see where we need to go and see what we need to do and see what we need to focus on. Woodrow Wilson actually has a bike lane that was incorporated with it whenever they, when they even made that extension and that cut through. That's also part of that corn toe. When they take that corn toe and extend it all the way down and connect to YMCA eventually, they're going to extend that bike lane all the way through. So that way they're all the way, they're all the way, they're connected all the way around to the mall area over there. So there are connections happening. There are things happening that will help out with that. The, the, the Oak Street that I mentioned is to have that to where they can eventually possibly put a bike lane on Oak Street to extend down all the way from college, all the way to Valdosta Middle School. You know, so there they, that it is happening and we are I'm a biker. You know, I do triathlon and stuff. So I go to State Nation Road and everything else because fortunately out there is nothing but John Deere tractors and cows and stuff. <laughs> and every now and then you may get a dog out here or whatever. But you know, you see a vehicle from time to you know, but at the same time I go out there to buy because we don't have those lanes in the, in the city. But I promise you, it's being heard, which is why, you know, we have all this going on, which is why we're meeting and, you know, and 
because they're trying to figure out what's the best, best way to do this, what's the best way to take the money, and what do we hit first to make this better, you know, because there's so many things we want to do, but it's a matter of what has to be done in that, in that order. We've got about two minutes left, because I want to make sure we end today. Yes, sir. I just would like to thank you all for putting the meeting on, and I strongly suggest I don't hardly listen to old fashioned radio as they used to have. I was on radio for 20 years, and I do know about a church folk. Would love to hear when you have a meeting like this, so you may want to consider some of the gospel station to hit the heartbeat of the community. Thank you very much. Any other questions? If you have not signed in, we would love for you to sign in. And, and that's just simply so we can, you know, once again, just be able to email you information or you can contact us, you know. Um, and I got some cards I can give you if you need a card or whatever. My phone is open. It's always on. Um, and so anytime you need anything, you're more than welcome to call. And I say it all the time, I'll try to have the answer for you, but if I can, I'll find the answer. You know, so I won't just go, I don't know. You know, I'll at least find it and I will call you back. So, I don't have a question, but I do want to make a statement. Um, I think this is a separate question. I think it's a separate question. I think they will, the first, to get it back to Sean, I think it's going to take some time. We may not have a lot of people here. I think each and every time that you guys say, we're going to sit with it. I believe that we'll see the numbers increase each and every time. But I applaud you guys as one of them. I applaud you guys as one of the other. This is amazing because now we get a chance to hear from, from you guys from your mouth uh, tell us what's going on in the city. Because sometimes I think we believe that everything is going to happen just like that. Not understanding what it takes money, what it takes time, what it takes plan, and all that stuff. So are you guys giving us that information? Now we can take it from here and take it back out to the community and spread the word. So I appreciate you guys. At the end of the city council and the county commissions, they have citizens to be heard or citizens wishing to be heard. Why don't you call this meeting instead of town hall? Say, citizens wishing to be heard. Let you know. Let, let's let's don't call it town hall. Call it what we call it everywhere else. And that you know, people line up. Anybody else want to be heard? They come and they have their thing to say. Pave my road, or or don't pave my road, or there's there's gangs or dogs or whatever in my neighborhood. And and call these citizens to be heard and let people. Yeah, with a time clock. With, with, the, with the three minute time clock. <laughs> but also, like I said, I want to thank each and every one of y'all for coming out. Thank y'all. This is um, very important. Um, like I said, we, we ask that y'all stay engaged, contact your neighbor. When you see these emails, these Facebook posts, and these flyers on your mailbox, don't throw them in the trash. I know there was one on your mailbox. Y'all make sure y'all just, just tell people. Like I said, I take this seriously. I, I, I really do. And Councilman Gibbs and I text and talk probably about three times a week. Kids saying me, we want to miss by our city, we want to miss by our community. Um, and just, y'all just stay engaged. Y'all, like I said, call, phone call, email. If y'all don't want to send, make up an email. If